Okay, Ji, Assalamu Alaikum. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, let's wait for a minute so that people can join. Okay, G. So last time what we have seen, we have uh, started with the basic things like we have uh, gone through the conductor, insulator and uh, semiconductor. In the semiconductor, we have taken a look of uh, the intrinsic as well as the extrinsic semiconductor. And uh, then what we have uh, done, we have uh, combined uh, the extrinsic N-type and P-type semiconductor. And once we combine that, uh, we actually obtained uh, a P and N junction device. Now P and N junction device, which we normally say, which we normally say P and junction. And when P and N junction combines, this is called P and junction diode, right? Now, the P side is normally being the positive side. And the positive side is whenever we have this, we say this is P and this is N side, right? Now, the P side is normally being taken as the N node and the N side is normally being taken as the N node. And the symbolic representation of P and diode is something like this. Right? So this is our, so this is our N node side, and this is our N node side. Right? So this is our P side, and this is our N side. Now, so let's see what happens if we connect uh, a DC biasing source, right? So if we connect our PN, PN junction diode, so this is our P side, this is our N side, right? And last time we have seen that whenever P and N side combined so what happens we have the positive points they are being created on the n side as well as the negative points they are being created on the p side right and due to this What happens that we have basically an, an electric field which is being created an electric field which is being created in between the positive and negative side with the direction from positive towards the negative side, right? Now, once this happens, 
So this means what we have, we have plenty of free electrons on the N side. And we have holes, which are basically the majority carriers, which are basically the majority carriers. Majority carriers. On the P as well as on the N side. Right? Now, if we connect, if we connect a DC source in such a fashion that the P side is connected with the positive terminal of the DC passing source and N side is connected with the negative terminal of the DC passing source. Right. So what we say, we say we have the V bias, which is being applied across the diode, right? So this means this side is connected with the positive side and this side is connected with the negative side of the DC biasing source, which is V bias. Now, what happens that when we connect this diode with the V bias in such a fashion that the P side is connected with the positive terminal of the DC source and N side is connected with the negative terminal of the DC biasing source. So this kind of arrangement is called forward biasing of the PN junction diode, right? So this is basically called, let me say this is basically the forward biasing, right? That when the P side is connected with the positive terminal and N side is connected with the negative terminal. So this kind of arrangement is called forward biasing of the diode. Now, once it is being done, so what will happen? Now let's see that uh, as we know that that we have the arrangement something like this on the P side. On the P side, we have the conduction band as well as we have the valence band, as well as on the N side, we have the conduction band as well as we have the valence band, right? Now, on the end side, we have plenty of free electrons, right? And on the P side, On the P side, we have plenty of holes which are available in the valence band. Right? Now, uh, this is our P side and this is our N side. Now, whenever it is being connected, we say like it is being connected to the positive side and the end side is being connected to the 
n side is being connected to the negative side. Right. Now, what will happen? That we know that the similar type of charges they repel each other, right? And the dissimilar kind of charges they attract each other. Like negative and negative, they will repel one another, and negative and positive, they will attract one another, right? Now, so what will happen that whenever the n side is being connected with the negative terminal, so this means the free electrons which are on the n side as the majority carrier, they will be pushed towards the depletion region. What is the depletion region? Depletion region is the region where we have the barrier potential, right? And this means that these free electrons, which are available over here, so they will be pushed towards this depletion region, right? Are you with me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Okay, Ji. Yes, sir. Any question up till now? No, sir. If you have any question, you can ask me or you can ask me in the middle as well. Okay, kindly of turn off your mic, please. <clears throat> okay, Ji. So once the N side is being connected with the negative terminal and P side is connected with the positive terminal. So the like charges, they will repel each other and the free electrons, which are on the N side as the majority carriers, they are being pushed towards the depletion region. Once they are being pushed towards the depletion region, what will happen that these free electrons, they will cross the depletion region due to the force of the V bias or the potential which is being applied, they are being pushed across the depletion region, right? <clears throat> and once they are being pushed across the depletion region, so while crossing the depletion region, what happens that these free electrons which are being energized, they lose the energy and they will drop into the valence band. And what happens over here? That as you can see, once these electrons, which are in the conduction band, in the conduction band, they are being pushed across this energy hill, once they are being pushed across this energy hill, they will cross due to the force, they will cross or they will move up the energy hill. And once they will move up the energy hill, so while crossing, they actually lose the energy and they will get down into the valence band on the P side, right? So due to that, what happens that these electrons now come and they are now in the valence band on the P side, right? And once they are on the valence band on the P side, so on the P side, the P side is being connected with the positive terminal. So this means once these electrons crosses the energy hill, they get into the valence band. On the P side, so now they will be moving from one hole to another hole within the valence band, right? And then they are being attracted by the positive terminal and they will actually be flowing like this in the outer view, right? So this means the, the current will be flowing in this direction, 
and the current which is due to the electron flow right so normally what is happening that the conventional current direction is actually opposite to the flow of electron right so whenever we take a look and we say that the diode is being connected like this in the forward direction so current flows in this direction are you with me so this means that actually the current which is flowing due to the flow of electrons is in the opposite direction to the conventional flow of the current so what we say that the electrons they flow in this direction right so electron flows in this direction and the direction of the conventional current is actually opposite to the flow of the electrons and therefore the direction of the current is normally being taken like this over here are you with me question no sir this is thing fine i know this this, this thing uh, was being done previously as well but uh, as uh, somebody is saying something okay okay so if any question you can ask me okay ji okay so this is the direction of current due to the electrons and what is happening that we have we have basically you see we have basically the electrons flowing in this direction and in the outer they flow in this direction and this is basically the flow of electrons or what we say normally is the uh, electron current and the conventional direction of the current is actually opposite to the flow of electron right are you with me इलेक्ट्रॉन विच फॉल डाउन फ्रॉम द पी साइड फ्रॉम द कंडक्शन बैंड वेन दे लूज द इनर्जी they get into the valence band right so the electrons they are moving from one hole to another hole in this direction right so the electrons they are moving in this direction from one hole to another hole right so the electrons they are moving in this direction so this means the holes they are moving in the opposite direction over here are you with me yes sir right and similarly when the voltage is uh, there so this means more and more free electron they will be crossing the energy head and once they will be crossing more so this means more electrons they will be dropping over here right theek hai ji so once this uh, condition occurs what will happen that what will happen that this means more free electrons they are actually coming towards the depletion region so due to that what happens that the positive ions which were previously being created now there is basically a reduction in the size of depletion region why 
because now more electrons they are coming towards the depletion region and more holes they are also moving towards the depletion region so due to this the impact of the movement of the majority carrier towards the depletion region they actually reduce the number of ions which are there in the depletion region right or you can also say that once you are providing the v bias over here v bias over here so this means more free electrons they are getting more energy right when they are getting more energy so this means the level of the conduction band on the n side is getting at a higher level right when it is moving at a higher level so this means the energy hill is actually reducing in size when it is reducing in size so eventually it it means that the width of the depletion region is decreasing in size right are you getting this point so due to the application of v bias what happens that eventually the width of the depletion region reduces and once you remove v bias the p n junction depletion region gets back to its original size which was the original width before the application of v bias over here right so this actually happens only due to the application of the forward biasing the p n junction diode are you with me yes sir question sir a question over sir please please sir sir ye jo humne source ye source jo connect kiya sir ye just potential difference hai ya iski koi limit hogi energy ki ye basically humne ek jo hai ek dc बाइसिंग सोर्स कनेक्ट किया है जिस तरह आप कह सकते हैं डीसी बैटरी कनेक्ट की हुई है इसके साथ राइट और डीसी बैटरी की कनेक्शन का आइडिया ये है कि दिस बाइसिंग सोर्स शुड बी ग्रेटर देन दी बैरियर पोटेंशियल राइट सो वी हैव डिस्कस दैट थिंग दैट द बैरियर पोटेंशियल इज नॉर्मली बैरियर पोटेंशियल इज नॉर्मली if the material is used of silicon it is 0.7 volts and if the material is being used as germanium it is 0.3 volts right Three, yes sir so yes. if if the uh, semiconductor is made up of silicon so this means the v bias should be greater than 0.7 volts if the silicon uh, if the semiconductor is made up of germanium the v bias should be greater than 0.3 volts right so this is the condition that the v bias should be greater than at least 0.7 volts right and the other thing over here that uh, considering the electronics itself so what we need that to limit the flow of current we need to have some kind of a resistance that needs to be connected over here right and what we say it is r limit resistance right so this uh, resistance over here is there so that we can actually uh, limit the flow of current in the external loop because as you know that whenever we connect the diode over here so this means if there is no resistance in the circuit if there is no resistance in the circuit so what will happen that whenever we provide v bias over here so all of this biasing potential will be applied across the diode itself right so we say let's suppose the potential across the diode is vd and we have our limit resistance so this means by applying kirchhoff voltage law what is kirchhoff voltage law anybody yes sir 
Yes, sir. Hey, what is the most voltage apply? Now the voltage rise in this problem. Okay, so what we say that let's suppose the potential across the R limit is the potential across R limit is we say VR, right? So this means what we can say that applying Kirchhoff voltage law to the loop over here would be this. So this means applying KVL to this loop. So we will get VB should be equal to VR plus VD, right? Are you with me? Yes, sir. Sir, this loop is simple, sir. If you use it in complex circuit. You can't use it. कर तो सकते हैं लेकिन सिंपल सिंपल तरीके से नहीं हो सकेगा सर नहीं सर कर सकते हैं अच्छा आपको बी डबल ई किसने पढ़ाई थी सर गुल सर गुलतार ना रहमत साहब ने सर सर कर सकते हैं वो तो बस उसमें कंप्लेक्सिटी में चला गया हम तो सिंपल के लिए भी कर सकते हैं इसमें कोई इश्यू नहीं ओके जी सो uh, what is the point over here that uh, we can use uh, KVL for any kind of a loop? Whenever it is a closed loop, we can apply KVL. Okay, so uh, what we have, we have VB is equal to VR plus VD. So as we know, VD is mostly around the our uh, potential barrier, which is 0.7 volt approximately. So if VB is more than let's suppose 0.7 volts, so the rest of the potential will be appearing across VR, right? So the point over here applying our limit over here means that to safeguard the diode from uh, excessive voltage, right? Question, is this thing fine? Not fine? No, sir. Sir, please do vara samjai, sir. Okay, Jeep. Uh, what is the point over here that we say, uh, if you apply KVL over here, VB is equal to VR plus VD, right? So VD will be normally if uh, the material which is being used is uh, silicon. So the drop across the diode will be in the forward direction will be around 0.7 volts, right? If V bias or VB is let's suppose 1.5 volts, right? So what will happen that if there is no R limit, so this means all of the applied V bias will be appearing across the diode, right? But the diode, what we need, we need to have just or around about 0 0.7 volts so that we should be able to turn on the diode. The rest of the potential need not to be across the diode itself, but it should be across some other element which can actually uh, take care of the excessive voltage. So the excessive voltage will be taken care or here by the R limit resistance. So this means whenever the V bias is more than the potential uh, barrier potential, so the rest of the voltage will be catered by the uh, R limit resistance, right? And this KVL is also showing that that if VB is more than the uh, battery potential, so VR is going to take care of that uh, potential. And this means VR will be if 
the VB is more than uh, 0.7 volts. So the rest of the voltage will be appearing across VR over here. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. G. Sir, अगर मैं VB को 0.7 volt apply करता हूँ तो क्या वो potential barrier को break कर पाएगा? So normally आपका अगर silicon है तो आप अगर 0.7 volt apply करते हैं और VR नहीं लगाते तो it will be just on the tipping point, right? So normally what we do we provide a little bit more than 0.7 volts so that the diode should be if you are talking about practical diode so it should be something more than 0.7 volt because we will see in the characteristic curve what happens right but uh, what is the point over here the point over here is we do not want to have excessive voltage across the diode and the excessive voltage across the diode will be care, uh, will be uh, taken care by the resistance which we are connected in series with the circuit, right? And that is basically the resistance which we have applied over here. Okay, ji. Baat samajh mein aa rahi hai. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Right? Okay. So this is the thing which happens in the forward direction. Now let's see if we connect the diode in the reverse direction, what will happen? Let's see. If we have, again, this is the diode, P and N side. We have again this. which we normally say we have positive. And we have the negative side. And due to that, what we have, we have something, we have an electric field, which is there from the positive side, or from the positive point towards the negative one. Now, if we connect the biasing potential in such a direction that the end side is connected with the positive terminal and the P side is connected with the negative terminal of the DC biasing source. Right? So, such kind of arrangement is called reverse biasing or reverse bias, right? Now what will happen? As we know that the end side has lot of free electrons. As the majority carriers. And P side has lot of holes as the majority carriers. Are you with me? As well as we know this thing that uh, dissimilar charges attract one another, right? So as you can see that the free electrons on the end side they are being connected with the positive terminal. So the dissimilar charges, they will attract one another. So this means the free electrons on the end side as the majority carrier, they will be attracted by the positive terminal, right? 
and once they are being attracted by the positive terminal so this means free electron will move in this direction are you with me yes sir and this means these free electrons will be moving in this direction and they will be entering over here right and once they are entering over here so let's see what is happening on the band level on the band level we know that we have the conduction band and we have the valence band on the p side as well as we have the conduction band and we have the valence band on the n side right and on the p side this is the p side this is the n side on the p side what we have done we have connected it with the negative terminal and on the n side we have connected it with the positive right and in the conduction band we have plenty of free electrons and on the valence band on the p side we have plenty of holes now these electrons they are being taken by the positive side of the dc source they are being attracted over here they are being attracted over here and they enter into the valence band on the p side right once they enter on the valence band on the p side so what happens that as we are taking the free electrons away from the n side so this means the net energy of the conduction band on the n side is again getting lower right so this means the once they are being taken by the positive terminal so this means the conduction band is losing energy or right so the level of the conduction band is getting lower right and once the uh, level of the conduction band on the n side is getting lower so same is the case with the valence band because the band gap between the conduction band and the valence band remains same okay we are have uh, less than a minute so we will uh, restart in 5 uh, minutes theek hai ji kyunki ye session end ho jayega abhi so we, we will restart from this point Okay. 